Welcome to a practice example for Too Tall Toby. This is dated March 4th, uh, 2024, and this is a pump body. Uh, this model is uh, pretty simple to do in IronCAD as well. Uh, again, we'll basically use some of our standard shapes that are in our catalogs to build most of this geometry, and then we'll just edit one of our uh, slot shapes to uh, do this outer profile here. Um, and that's all we'll need to do to, to build this shape. So we'll just go ahead and start in IronCAD. So let's move this out of the way. And what we're going to start off with, again, this is our standard starters catalog here. You, know, you can adjust this around to see more if you'd like to see more in here. But we're going to start with our slot, and we're going to drop that out. This is our middle section of the, the geometry. So what we want to do here is we know the uh, diameter or width of this thing is actually 36 on that. And we need the height here is actually going to be set at 92 uh, from center to center. But our handles are on the outside of this thing, so we just need to add the the diameter value to that as well. So we'll just uh, set that to 92 plus 36 to set that to 128 to get our value there. And the last one is our uh, thickness of this, which is set at 50 in the profile. So that gives us our, our basis for our shape. And the next thing I'm going to start with is really these little cylinders that come off the top here. So there's one that sits on the top and the bottom. And I'm just going to drop this actually in the center and I'll show you why. So I'll drop that from the center, and we know the diameter of that guy is 19 for that. And we know that it's 22 millimeters out from the center of this. So I'm just going to snap this guy over to our center here, and then I can adjust my opposite handle to 22. Again, you could have also just right-clicked on this and said edit distance from point and center point and edit. Uh, either way is um, possible to do. Um, Next, it's going to have a hole on this as well. So we're going to go ahead and put the hole on this this part. So I'm going to drop a, a cylinder here. And again, this only goes a certain depth uh, on this guy. So this is actually a 12 uh, millimeter hole. That's got to set a depth of 22 as well. So we can set that there. Now what I'm going to do is I want to make a copy of this here and here. And I can just delete the center piece. So to do that, I'm going to select both of these shapes, use our tri ball. And we know the distance of these are 90. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and drag this top handle up, and we're gonna say make a link copy here. And we're gonna say this is only one direction, so it's 45, but we're also gonna repeat it in the opposite direction, in the reverse direction. So we're gonna hit OK to that, and I'll place both of those in the other side, and I can just turn off my tri ball, and then I can just basically select both of these two shapes and delete it. So that's a handy way to create that uh, initial shape. Uh, uh, there. So next, I'm going to go ahead and start on this other side here. So what I can do is actually select down to our face level. And there's a handle here that I can pull out to start a new feature, which in this case is going to be 15 millimeters out from there. And that's basically our same uh, shape here. So this is a little different than dropping our slot. We can drop that out there and adjust the size that way, or we can just uh, edit the feature. So that's one way to do it. I'll show you the other way as well. So you can, again, you can just drop another uh, feature out here and what this is you know it's the same thing we just drag this up and it's going to be uh, a little bit different on this one than was the other one it's a basically 25 uh, diameter on this guy so it's actually 50 in this direction and this one and then you would set the value here again which would be the same thing the oops 92 plus 50 in this case. So you can do it either way. Um, so you can do that, uh, the first approach by pulling the face and then just go into the cross section and do an offset, or you can do it this way and just build the profile that way. So uh, I just wanted to show you both ways are possible. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this feature because we do need to edit the cross section. So one of the things here is these things are not straight. There's another circle here. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and draw another uh, circle from our center. And it's got a diameter of 38, or actually a radius of 38 inside of there. So that's going to give us our basic uh, shape for that. And what we want to do is actually draw a tangent line from this guy down to here. So you can see our, our blue tangent there showing. I can click that, and it'll place both of those there. And I can do the same thing over here, drag that out until I get that snap there. And I got the tangents. We'll do it on the bottom as well. So we just want to make sure we're hitting our tangency locations so that we don't have to trim anything at the end of the day. So we're just gonna do that to create those two, uh, those that basically that shape there. And what we don't uh, need is this extra geometry that's in the inside here. So we can just trim this stuff off using our trim command, and we can just go ahead and just trim all this data out of here. Oops, we oh, trimmed one too many there. There we go. And uh, continue our trim on this guy here. So we can trim that off. I'll just get rid of all this big geometry first. 
and I can come get this smaller stuff here done. There and there. So we can also do a, an extrude with a, a value or the inner profile if you like, but in this case, I just trimmed it off uh, for this model. So anyways, that builds our basic shape. And now we can do our counter bores in here. So we have a, a through cut on this. Uh, we can drop it here. Uh, which is going to be a through value of, let me look what that hole is. I always forgot where it is uh, inside of here. I think it's 14 inside of there. And then we have a counter bore on this, which drop it on that same location. In this case, the counter bore is a diameter 40 and a depth of seven on there. So we're just gonna hit our enter key a couple times. Actually, we'll just select this back handle here and just type in nine, or sorry, seven that. So we've got our depth of seven, our diameter is 40 because that's what it dropped out as, and that's so that kind of gives us our basis for it. And we need a copy of this down to the other side, so I'm going to select both of these holes, use this tri ball inside of here, and then I'm going to move it down to a, a midpoint location. So I can just move it down here to a midpoint of this or center point of that, because uh, we want to mirror it to the other side. Uh, is one way to do this. So I'll show you. I can snap it to a center here uh, and just mirror, mirror it. Or I actually could have just dragged it down to the center and made a copy. So multiple ways to do this. Again, I'm just giving you some alternates uh, inside of here. So I'm going to lock this. Go ahead and right-click mirror link to the other side. So now I have that. Uh, next, I want to make an actual mirror of this onto the other side as well. So I can select our outside piece, our holes here. Oops, there we go. There we go. Select these so that I get uh, the holes uh, selected and it's important that you select the holes in order here because if you pick well in this case it wouldn't matter but in some cases it depend it'll recreate it based on your selection on the mirror uh, so that's just one thing to, to note there so anyways the tri-ball is here uh, in this location we want to mirror it to the other side uh, so what I can do is just lock this axis move it to the center point here and then simply right click and do the same thing mirror link to the other side so now we have <clears throat> you know the shape on both sides here the holes going through there uh, on that. So now we just have to deal with our other geometry here, which is we have a through hole and we have a, a hole and a through hole in the front. So let's go ahead and start with this one. Uh, this one's uh, pretty interesting as well. So what I'm going to do here to make it easy, it's a 52 and 52 wide. So what I'm going to do is actually drag this back handle and snap it to this back side. And I'm going to snap this front one to here so I can size it symmetrically from this location. And then I can just set it to 52. And then I can set the diameter for that guy to 52 as well. So I can select one of these handles, type it to 52 to get that. So now I've got that shape created. I can now do my through cuts. And this one has a hole that's there and that has a diameter of 35. And we have another one that's going, uh, sorry, that one is actually 40, my bad. On that, I type in the wrong value there for that. So that's supposed to be 40. The one on the side here is actually 35. So we'll put this one here last, and that diameter is 35 for that hole. Okay, so that basically gives us our shape here. So very limited uh, cross-section editing in this uh, this model, but basically just using the drag and drop capabilities of IronCAD. Uh, we can now go to our properties, select in our uh, value here, and I think it had yeah, 7,800. So so after looking at this, I noticed that I forgot to set the thickness on this guy here. So I can select this handle and set that to 15. And since all these holes were referencing this face, they all moved out automatically for us. And now they have a 15 thickness here on this. And this is 50 in the center. So now when we select on this, it should be 35. Or sorry, 25, 36 is our mass uh, for this particular part. So that's just one thing. So it's easy to edit. And IronCAD does have reference information that it has some associations to this. Uh, loose associations, so it automatically knows how to update. So kind of an interesting way to edit this model and show how you can actually modify after the fact. So hopefully you enjoy this video.